Hey everybody and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Echoes of Wisdom. Yeah, we're back. Uh, last time we finished the game, but uh, yeah, this is a bonus episode, probably one of many because I want 100% the game still and we're gonna do it blind. Why not? I'm not entirely sure if I'll do everything in these bonus episodes. I might have to play a little bit off screen, but let's at least continue after beating the game. So once you do beat the game similar to pretty much every other Zelda game, uh, specifically the last two with how it auto saves and adds a star on your file selection, letting you know that yes, this is a beaten file. But not only that, because um, what we also noticed at the end of the last video is when you do boot it up, it actually gives you a new message letting you know that yeah, now that you beat the game, you can now view the total number of echoes, piece of heart, and more by checking your notebook by pressing Y on the map. So. That's pretty, gonna be pretty beneficial for 100%ing the game. And then if you talk to the Great Deco Tree, it'll tell you which regions to find the echoes you haven't learned. I need the Lionel Echo. I can't believe I didn't have it in the final battle. So let's go get that. So yeah, obviously if you speak to Link here, you'll have to give him your weapons and that's where you enter the final chapter and take on Null and everything. But since we've done that, we now know. Maybe I'll revisit it when I have the Lionel Echo so I could see how easy the boss battle will be with that. But let's go ahead and teleport out of here, make our way to the Great Deku Tree, and yeah, I, I need to figure out where that Lionel is now. Obviously, we'll, we'll be looking for other things that we missed out, like uh, continuing Dompe's quest. Um, what else? I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of things that uh, we can still do. I mean, I'm still missing a decent amount of hearts. Again, I didn't expect we'd be so close to the end of the game like that, so I kind of went in a little prematurely, but nonetheless, it's it's all good. You know, we beat the game at least. No more spoilers, uh, which is pretty nice. Uh, so I don't have to, like, hide or anything. But now let's go ahead and talk to the Great Deku Tree. So it is you, Priestess of Wisdom. I sense you have journeyed for a long time now with the power of Echoes. If there are echoes you have yet to learn, I can offer you knowledge on where they may be. Oh. Now then, do you need something from me? That's echo location. Now, mm. give it to me. Okay, what is it? A total of two in Hyrule Field, one in Eternal Forest that I haven't got, one in Eastern Hyrule Field, one in Jabul Waters, three in Gerudo, one in... Admin I need to like, write this down. I'm not going to remember all this. Two in Fairlands, two in Hebrew Mountains, and Holy Mount Laneru. I guess they're jointed. Mm. Uh, it seems you have yet to learn all the echoes, of course. Do you need anything else? Let's talk, then. What do you have to say? Mm. I imagine the road ahead is fraught. Now, Princess of Wisdom, open the path forward. Do you need... Anything else? Okay, cool. This is a very beautiful area, though. Uh, yes, the Great Deku Tree doesn't seem nearly as big again in this art style and, uh, you know, overall the graphics. You, you can't do it in the top-down uh, setting. It would look a bit ridiculous, right? Every top-down Zelda game, when you see a tree like the Maku Tree, it didn't look so big either. But, um, man, now that, make, makes me, now that I've beaten this game... Please, Nintendo, just have Grezzo remake the Oracles, man. I'll be honest, the Oracles in a remake could really contest with this game. I don't know, actually. The Echoes are pretty dope. Uh, but, man, I want I want the Oracles now. I'm a greedy <laughs> fan, I guess. Like, the second I'm done with this game, give me more, please, Nintendo, please. But, I mean, <laughs> I can't help it. But, okay, let's, let's remove these pins. So, he said one in Eternal Forest. Might as well just kind of... Check. Oh yeah, it floats. I'm like, wait, what is, was that? Why was it suspended in air like that? But comes out that's normal. Um. Okay, I give up for now. Um, because I can assure you, all the rupees in the world that I've looked all around Eternal Forest and we're not finding it. What I'm afraid is, you know how this game lets you do it your way and however you want, but they're actually like, let's come on. There's an enemy here. There has to be an enemy here. There is an enemy here. It's just not appearing. So I need to figure out a way to probably trigger that. Um, so let's just see what we can do. I guess let's just speak to anyone outside of Eternal Forest and... I don't know. Just see if we've come across something. So definitely not him. <laughs> That's for certain. Uh, not you. Oh! Wasn't this something I was going to do that I forgot because I didn't know if I could do it. Oh, you know what? Because it was my stupidity. I could probably do this with ease now. Um, I didn't think of bind back then. Now I do. So, 
let's just quickly run through here and actually solve this. Um, so what was it? Okay, this. Uh, actually, I actually don't know how I would solve this tell today. Oh, guineas! That's what I would do. I use a guinea to hit it, probably. Right? I'm assuming that's what I'm going to do, because it can literally go through walls. Oh! Okay, so... Guinea. I think guinea is like the one thing you can... <gasps> Maybe I could have solved that puzzle in the during Inside Null as well like this. Let's just see if this works. Never mind. I don't know why I thought that would guarantee work. If maybe if I lift it and throw it. Oh! Sorta. Uh, what if I target on it and then throw it? No. Nope. Oh, if you target the switch, it'll attack the enemy? What the hell? What? So that's what I want to do. I should have... Technically, I figured it out, but... I just didn't know... <laughs> I beat the game and I, I just realized I could do that. Great. Amazing. <laughs> okay, let's continue now. <laughs> I hate it when the simplest thing is what was stopping me. Um, again, I'm sure I have infuriated a lot of people who do know how to solve things and did know the answer to that puzzle, but it's whatever. This was something I should have done so much earlier. At least we did it now, I guess. Uh, let's learn the big guinea, at least. That's that's pretty big. Guinea level two, so. It has horns coming out of its mouth. That's kind of cool, I guess. Uh, but yay, we finally got the chest. Hey! I don't really care anymore. I used to be excited for them. I I'm jaded now. Um, okay. Okay. Frickin' Eternal Forest, man. I, I need I need to figure this out. I need to figure it out, man. Uh, well, I guess we haven't spoke to this cat. <laughs> Let's attempt that. This person friend is nice to me. He doesn't mind I'm here, and he scratches my chin. Sometimes others of your kind come by, and they talk to him for a long time, probably because he's so nice. Okay, that didn't do anything. Uh, I guess since everyone likes speaking to him because he's so nice, let's yeah. talk to him again and, and see. We know all about that. What about some other tales, man? I need some more rumors. So surviving extreme cold, don't need that. Clothes to talk to cats, we're aware of that. Dangerous monster! Hmm, I wonder if we talked to him about it. So, do you know the quiet forest to the northwest of here? Yes. I have heard that it is home to a particularly dangerous monster, one rarely seen. If you spy any especially menacing tracks, please don't follow them. Who knows what you'll find? <sighs> I wonder, I wonder, will those tracks now suddenly appear because I spoke to him? Let's see, um... Yeah, let me just walk there instead of teleport. Well, we can't, I mean, we can teleport to the entrance. We're literally steps away, like, what am I doing? Okay. So, we've literally went up and down this forest, so I will notice if there are any tracks within Eternal Forest. Um, let's see. I don't actually see any. I mean, if he said there are tracks, there has to be. And maybe there has been. I just haven't noticed them. So... Let's look around carefully and see if I can spot- is this a track? I can't tell. Oh! Are these- no. Uh, kinda looks like tracks. <gasps> oh! That's hoof marks! That- oh god! Oh, the Lionel's in here, isn't it? Wait! <gasps> Wait, what? What? Did they weren't- Whatever. I- I- like- I don't like how this game seems like it's, again, you can do whatever you want and then they have stuff that like literally force you to trigger things to make them work, but whatever. So I bet you we're gonna go in a circle until we reach this. Dude, that's too predictable. But like also just annoying that I couldn't just find it at first. So, okay, the hooves are going this way. So let's follow them, okay. We, I, I am certain these hooves weren't here before. We literally had to speak to the guy. And they weren't here when we went around in a circle, so you literally had to take a very specific path. I don't think this is really good game design. To me, this is just kinda annoying, like genuinely kind of annoying. Um, 
But whatever, it's technically, at its core, a really cool side quest. I just hate that I have to discover everything before it, and then now I have to do it. Again, maybe if I just figured this out the first time I came here, I wouldn't feel this way, but... Okay, will you look at that? Will you look at that? This should have been so much more epic, but whatever. Let's do it. The battle against the Lionel. Let's just do Lionel v me and we're done. Yay, we got it. Okay, this is literally what I was seeking. It's funny how the first echo I wanted to look for was in Eternal Forest. That echo happened to be the Lionel that I literally was hoping I'd get. And yeah, well, we should have gotten this Lionel though right before the final battle. It's fine. At least we finally got it. Um... But yeah, again, a little salty. I'm happy nonetheless, but like, it does kind of suck that I literally called it. I, li I have a stamp right here knowing there's going to be some kind of epic battle. Um, we just had to trigger certain things and everything, but whatever. That's all good. Um, at least we did what we needed to do. And now, I, I mean, I'll keep it. If anything, it's very fitting. That's where we got our freaking Lionel, man. Like, holy crap. Can I ride it? Why not? Imagine riding it, too. Dude, that would be so OP. But it is huge. It is a beast. It is good to have. Oh, yeah. The Lionel on side with the, literally, um, Lionel Blade. So dope. I, again, the Lionel's got a complete rehaul in Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom. And I'm glad that they, they, they originally did top-down Zelda games, but... Now they're actually fitting in top-down Zelda games. So, okay, with that done, we can check off Eternal Forest in terms of echoes that we need to collect. Now, one thing I did really want to do is mend this rift. Like, we technically beat the game, but there's a rift that I haven't mended yet, so let me make sure I do that, and maybe I can make use of this Lionel or something, but... Yeah, wow, okay, we wasted a lot of time going in circles trying to figure it out, but I'm glad I was persistent and I just got it, because, yeah, I, I couldn't be happy knowing that there are is an echo especially of a lionel that i never picked up like that is a must so now let's go ahead and mend the final rift and then we'll see what else we can do oh i just remember the slumbering dojo probably has some stuff for us and um trying to think what else but either way there, there's plenty of things for us to do i'm just this was the main thing though this this was like the thing i had to do coming back into this game okay how many of your friends are trapped? Three. I wonder how happens if you rescue all of them. Do you get like an outfit as well? Now that I doubt it. I need to stop with the, the, the whole hoping I'm going to get an outfit or something. Oh, wait. No. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Whoa. True. The sword beam. Because we're full HP. Okay. Now let's grab this one. Oh, this is so bittersweet though. No, this is the end of... This is the end of this, isn't it? Oh, well. Like, this this might be the last one, so let me savor it. You know, enjoy this galaxy-like vibe. Because, yeah, we might not do this again. So beautiful, though. I genuinely do like... I hate how it's all blurred out in the background, but it looks super cool. Um, okay. But let's focus on doing this. <laughs> So I'm assuming this side here will lead us to one. Hopefully this spear Bacoblin can't land the spear from across. Um, right, this definitely must have been an early one because, yeah, this seems pretty simple. We already got two down. Again, I'm a bit sad, though. Uh, but, you know, let's go ahead and make our way up here. And I just want to kind of look at this for a second. Just one last time. Now, I actually wonder if there's a pro mode. There's no options. There's... There's no options. Okay, I guess there's not. Okay, whatever. Let's move. I, was, I want to make... like, Because if this is the last time I'm going to see this on this file, like be able to actually enter the rifts. Okay, there we go. My depth perception. Again, I figured this out way too late. Um, being able to do this. But this is so useful for when I can't tell where I'm supposed to go. And it literally feels like I'm playing a different game. That's how top Zelda, top down Zelda used to be, right? And it never was like this degree, was it? I guess? Nah. Not even. Uh, yeah. Never mind. 
Um, but anyways, let's just grab the last one. It's probably somewhere over here. Yeah. Oh, we gotta... We gotta... Yank it, maybe? Oh. Oh, no, just swim up. D just swim up. Um, swim up is A, not B. S beat the game? Still not used to the controls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Now we've done it, but yeah, it's a shame, because this really might be it. Let's mend this rift. But as long as I get some kind of special reward, then it was worth it, and I'll be happy. Um... All right, let's enjoy this one last time. Maybe one last time? I mean, hopefully, I don't know. I, I want to say this was the last one on the map. There was a smaller one next to this one, but I doubt that's a rift we could mend. I think once we mend this one, the other one will just disappear. But wait, no, because we, no, we do have one more left. Because literally, there's one last little piece. So, okay, good. That's great news. Let's mend the final rift. I wonder what that is going to be. But I do wish there was a pro mode. Um, so I can, like, enjoy the environment. I know it's not, I get, you're always looking down. But still, it, it would be nice. Okay, so, no, oh, wait, what? Hmm. I thought there would be, like, maybe a small one here. I don't even know where the last rift would be. It's probably, wow, it's hidden? Or what, how do I get that last little bit of EXP? Interesting, we're gonna have to figure that out soon. Uh, let's, uh, let's now just, I guess, go to Gerudo and kind of see if I missed out on anything. I feel like, or, I mean, is there something I haven't done yet? Let me think. Honestly, now I think all that's left is just really exploring every nook and cranny, and um, we'll put that off, because that just might take forever. There's going to be a lot of just empty space, so I I'm going to wait to do that um, for now. Let me just do some things I know I can do, and then I will see if I'm going to continue trying to 100% this game on uh, the LP. Like, at least we finished the LP. Now I can go to the 100% Let's Play if you really want that. Um, instead of doing it blind because I feel like doing it blind trying to find like one piece of heart could literally take over an hour And I don't know if I want to sit and be recording that so um, yeah. Let me just do what I know I can do and then we'll see if there'll be more bonus episodes But okay, let's see what new stuff have been added. Oh nothing. We were pretty much at the end of it uh, So maybe we could do Titans gathering one But let me grab some potions. Okay, so yeah well, let's do the boss rush. Screw it. Might as well. Um, we'll do one of them, at least. So that way we have something to do. And then, um, yeah, I'll probably just make the same kind of potion again and again. It will be salt and apple since I have so many of them. And I really don't care about the HP again. I just care about being able to use my sword. So, yeah, probably don't need to show this. We're just going to be making all a bunch of the same smoothies. It's not like I need to make new recipes because we completed that side quest. So, it's, it's not even needed. So, Okay. We have maxed out our smoothies. Now we're ready to take on the Slumbering Dojo, because I do believe you can use the smoothies in this battle, right? I hope you can. Wait, what if you can't? No, you... I th okay, I'm pretty sure you can in, in, in this upcoming yeah. one. We're, we're going to figure out right now. <laughs> I want to say you could, because I want to say last time we tried it. That's the reason why I quit, because I realized we could do that. Uh, so let's do Titans Gathering 1. And see how we fare this time yeah. being this much stronger again with the game beaten yeah. I feel like no matter what this should be so much easier. So okay I'm gonna spawn a Lionel regardless if anything we want to see what the Lionel does against these enemies and um, Maybe we won't even need to use a super fighter form actually no underwater I just remember because literally the second enemy we need uh, our sword fighter form so. All right, here we go. Seismic Talus. Let's see how we do. So, okay. Lionel time. And then... Oh my god. Perfect. The Lionel is going to do insane damage. Hell yeah. Okay, wait. We're already done. That's, we did so much damage so quickly. Okay. 
Again, we're under time, so hit that. Nice. Swap back. Honestly, let's just let's hit it ourselves. Nice. This is hilarious. Not just seeing the Lionel in action, but just seeing how much stronger we got. Okay, finally it died. Let's go ahead and spawn another one. And then... Okay, it dies in one hit like that. That's fine. Uh, Lionel! Don't, don't actually stand there. There you go. That's fine. Okay, hit it. And I'll hit it too, and... Okay, we're done. That's it for this one. Doesn't mean much, though, because we did really easily uh, the, first, the first time we did this as well. Uh, it was pretty simple. Yeah, that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> okay, now, this is where things might get a bit more difficult. Because now we got this water boss. We can't rely on our Lionel for this battle. But again, it's really cool that we can revisit these boss battles. I think a boss rush needs to be in every single Zelda game. Uh, I remember when they put it in Ocarina of Time 3D, I was so happy. Of course, Majora's Mask always technically had one. Because you can rewind time and take them on, which I do appreciate. Um... But okay, this ugly, this is such a uninspired boss in my eyes. I'd say this is easily the, design-wise, the worst boss. Maybe even gameplay-wise, like, this isn't too fun either. Okay, luckily we're just so OP, we can immediately <laughs> just do insane damage. Okay, let's see if I can do this quick. No, 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 wrong thing. Just literally rush to it, and then before it even has any chance, just literally, look at that, oh my god. The damage is unreal. But yeah, one thing I've definitely noticed, no matter what, echoes or not, I prefer just being able to, to not have to. Uh, oh god. Okay, this is my chance. Stop clicking the wrong D-pad button. I don't know how that keeps happening. Um, okay, perfect. Just keep hitting it, nice. Now I do wonder, can I go to my potions? Can I drink them in this battle? You can. Okay, so we're fine if we do run out. All right, let's see. Can, then, you know what? Let's get closer. Okay, or not. Uh, okay. I keep clicking. I need to switch my controller, if anything. My D-pad is just all rusted and busted, I guess, because it, for some reason, doesn't want to press the right button. There we go. Okay. That! No. Not good. That's fine. Again, luckily we can heal, we can do whatever we want. I mean, we don't even need to worry about healing, if anything, because we have a bed. Okay, come on. Ah, uh, drink it now, it's fine. Oh god. Okay, it's tired. Oh, that's how we want. We want just to wait. I'm trying to be impatient. But we can just do that, and we're done. Okay, next one, please. So I believe it's three each um, set of battles, or maybe? I don't know. We'll figure out. I think there's just going to be one more, and we'll be done. I have a feeling. What is it? The flying one? Yeah. The weird um, whatever this is. Mole, uh, hawk, grip, a griffith type mole. I don't know. But yeah, uh, mole griff. Okay. Let's see how much damage we'll do to this guy. Real quick. I'm just gonna... I don't care. I want to get her. It doesn't bother me. Just hit him like crazy. Oh, wait. I need my Lionel. Oops. That was silly of me. The last battle, I couldn't use the Lionel. This one, I can. So, I, I should. Alright. That's fine. That's fine. Let me quickly just deactivate. Spawn. Reactivate. Can the Lionel use its Lionel bow? No, and it died immediately. Alright. It's fine. Oh, God. Oh, true. I had the sandals during this battle that I didn't even notice this was a thing. Um, okay. Keep hitting it. What else do you got? Oh, you're gonna... True. We get a chance to hit you there? No. Maybe? Okay, no. We just wasted the whole meter. Woo! Avoid that. Come at me. All right, nice. Do him good, Lionel. All right, you do, yeah. You do him good. I won't do anything. Okay, here's my chance. Nope. Oh my God, really? Okay, that's fine. Again, I'm not gonna heal. I know I don't need to heal, but all the time I'm gonna replenish is this. 
Okay, great. No! Come on! Oh my god, you're really gonna keep spawning them back to back. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. I'm just trying to be in, like, as quickly as possible, but I need to be a bit more patient, because I'm just getting hit recklessly. Um, I guess since we are timed, it only makes sense! Okay. There we go. No, no, wrong button. Come on. Really now? All right, let's just avoid, avoid, and avoid. Okay, hit it. Really? You're not giving me a chance to hit you. Okay, it's fine, it's fine. It's fine. I'll, I'll be okay. I believe. I believe. Okay. Come on. Avoid this attack. I don't need a heal. Okay. Okay. Whoa! Uh, you know what? Well, we do need to drink one of these at least. Okay, avoid the tornado. It's like he's not giving me an opportunity to easily hit him. Am I just expecting the boss to be a lot easier than he should be? Or what? Like, what's going on exactly? I feel like he's giving me way more trouble than the actual battle. Uh, which just makes absolutely no sense. Like, what is going on? Okay. Come on. How do you not give me an opportunity to strike you? That makes no sense. Okay. Really now? No! Okay. Ah, finally. Like, I don't understand that. that. That literally, you have, like, milliseconds. I don't feel like it was even this difficult before. I think maybe I've just been playing this game so much that I'm literally just, uh, getting tired of it or something. I don't know. I, this game is amazing, but yeah. Uh, I, I didn't even want to prolong this battle at all. I just want to move on. So, okay, open your eyes. We're done with that. Eh, whatever. Uh, it should have been lickety split in my eyes, but sadly, we didn't get the lickety split. And, okay, finally, we get his... That's this. Oh, two more for an astonishing reward. So, is there anything else worth doing? I'll be honest. After that boss rush we just did, I don't want to do the other one. We could try the Wizard one again, but I—I I mean, it's not like the Lionel can hit it from afar. So, in reality, I need to upgrade my bow a third time, and then I'll consider this stuff. Because, yeah, ranged battle is just so annoying, especially when I'm doing literally nothing in terms of damage. Um, but okay. With that done, I guess let's go to Gerudo, because I feel like Gerudo is a place I didn't really thoroughly explore. And I do remember the Great Deco Tree mentioning three Echoes we haven't obtained, so may as well check that out. Hopefully there's a... Uh... Oh man, there's no Sandstorm, but there is, so sadly I can't even see the map anymore. Uh, it's fine. Just run around and hope to find something new. Anything new? We'll mess with. Uh, there's, the, the, is this club Bako, is this, hmm. no. <laughs> I'm like, there's no way, but it, so we, we got the boomerang too, right? Yeah, that's not it either. Ooh, a secret, it's definitely a secret here. Definitely, definitely. Now let's go ahead and use the enemy that is gonna take forever to find. Uh, well, okay, well. They really need to find a way that makes this easier to get through. This is so annoying, too. Like, what is this? Like, I have to keep scrolling. Okay, where is it? I, I know I passed it. Okay, finally. Jeez. No, really? That's not a secret? Huh? Oh, you're just spawning? Wait, what? Maybe I was wrong. Um. Dig. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there was a secret. Nice. I like how we don't need an actual shovel. We just use that. So, okay. How many do we have now? Are we almost there? Or kinda. Alright. Okay. Yeah, look at that. The bow is useless. Or not useless, but just, it takes too long. 
Okay. What what is inside this chest though? Okay. That's fine. Uh, I, I honestly don't even need to pick up that monster horn. Again, we, we beat the game, and I feel like there's a couple things we haven't even figured out what to do with. Um, like, you think... It's weird. The game has so much hand-holding and uncertain things. Either, I mean, either I skipped it myself, or I'm just generally unaware of what to do with, like, specifically the monster stone. Maybe it's just a collectible. We're missing a lot of collectibles. I bet you every single region can give you one. Uh, so we made it back to Gerudo Town. Not what I wanted to do. Yeah, let's just... What's this, actually? I don't think I've explored down here. Have I? Maybe I have. Maybe I haven't. We're gonna figure out. Either way. Let's just see what's... Here. Uh, you know what? Go ahead and break it down. There we go. Okay, so... How do I want to do this? Uh... Yeah, that worked. I don't care. <laughs> Wait, stop, stop. stop. <laughs> I don't know why I didn't know the button again. <laughs> but okay, there we go, we did it. Another piece of heart, not bad. Honestly, I'm just gonna teleport out of here. Like, I don't see the point in walking back out. We got what we needed. Easy, cheeky, little piece of heart. Let's now move on to something else. Oh, I just realized I don't have to actually traverse this. Wait, wait, we still haven't figured out how to pick up one of these or stop them or do something. Um, and you can't, oh, oh! Oh, there we go. We just have to grab it. I'm an idiot. Okay, who's the person who likes tumbleweed so badly? Oh, so this is... Okay, well, I figured... When in a bind, use bind, right? That's something I didn't follow. So, comes out. Yeah, all we need to do is just bind one of these. And now let's go... Uh, to, Please tell me she's here. I don't... Who? Who was it? Who was it? Oh, wait, 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 okay. I realized I can figure this out by just opening up my map and then opening up the side quest. Uh, tornado go, no. Um, oh, there we go, okay. Elusive Tumbleweed. She's here, okay, she's in Gerudo Town. Don't break, ah! Never mind. okay, well, it's fine. We'll do, well, at least we know what to do. Okay, so Tumbleweed. Grab it like this so it's very close to me so I don't somehow break it. And then, just get by, don't touch anything. There we go, okay. Nice. All right, now give me your stupid uh, hydro melons or what, what, what's this game's equivalent? Uh, Cactus is, yeah, just give them to me already. There you go, your dream has come true. All right, please take these. Oh, never mind. I like how the one time I'm being salty about it. And like, I'll just give me whatever crap you're gonna give me. She actually gives me something worthwhile. Really now? Really? <laughs> the one side quest that was really worth doing. Okay. We got a mighty crystal. Um, what else can we do? Okay, no, no, now let's go ahead and uh, make a uh, stinking carrot so we can... So we can move around here a bit faster and see if we can find an echo of something that we haven't came across. So, okay, let's dash around. At least we have our horse again. This is so dope. I feel like we should have found a lever or something. Um, okay, you know what? Oh my god. They're essentially this game's levers, though. You know, disappear on you and then just attack you in the sand. Spawn out of the sand, too. So maybe we don't need a lever and these little scorpion-type enemies. Um, but okay. Oh, have we gotten this one? I don't think so, right? Hey, oh no, we, never mind. Okay, there you go, we have. Have we gotten these guys? Let's see. Yeah, we did. Okay, and obviously we gotten these tornado guys. This isn't the tornado ghost that the Gerudo was speaking to us about. Alright, some weak moblins, nothing too important. 
Oh, what happened here? What's going on here? Whoa! Wait, what? Huh? What is this? Oh! This this guy? What? Okay. So this is like the Molduga of this area or something? Also, let me just spawn um, a Lionel now. And also, let me put on... Let's, let's make use of this equipment. So we don't need the additional rupees for now. Let's put on Gerudo sandals. And now we can walk through here with ease. Hell yeah. So, okay, how do I want to take this guy on? Is it just the head? I believe from Link, specifically Link's Awakening, we can fight this exact enemy. But you were supposed to hit its head. This one, that's not, that seems to be the case. Uh... Oh, yank it. Went in a bind, use bind. There we go, and now, uh, oh, it's weak point is underneath it. I wonder if that was also in Link's Awakening, the weak point was underneath. Either way, at least we did it. <gasps> Do we get an echo? No, never mind. That'd be too powerful of an echo anyways. But yeah, that was pretty cool. Didn't expect to find that randomly. Um, talk about a nice surprise. Uh, what else though? That wasn't even one of the echoes. Hmm. Okay, we've been here already. Here's how fast we can get around with uh with our horse. Oh! Oh! New moblins! G wait, dismount. These are definitely new moblins. Uh Lionel! Do your thing. Yo, red ones. What so what level are these? Or what are they? Are they level four? Level two, cl oh, never mind. Borblins, that they're not moblins, I was wrong. All right, nice. So two, that's two out of the three echoes in Gerudo Desert that we got. Ooh, this boomerang, uh, they look really cool. I hope there's a level three Borblin because then that might replace my Bacoblin. <gasps> Mitts, our energy gloves. You're not sure what the glove is made of, but it increases the likelihood of more energy appearing when you defeat dark monsters. Not like that matters because we're out of the rifts. Uh, but okay. Speaking of rift, there has to be one more though, because we, again, we still have like a, a little bit of a level up left. Um, but okay, so that now definitely, it's probably the ghost that that person found. Uh, the Gerudo for that side quest. Maybe that's the last thing we need to find. Like some kind of ghost type thing. I don't know. Oh, God. Oh, you can't walk in this. True. Um, have I explored everything here? Dude, once you... I mean, I feel like replaying this game, it's going to be so much easier. <sighs> don't break it. Okay. Because now you know ways to cheese the game uh, that you didn't in your first playthrough. And this is probably why this game might be hard to watch as a blind playthrough. Uh, after you have played the game, because like, ah, just do that, just use this, just solve that, just do, do this, but, uh, you know, you don't think about it until you get familiar with the game's mechanics. So I am excited for a second playthrough of this game to see how much better, uh, I've gotten, and just, like, how I'm gonna solve things this time around. I guess that's the one beauty about being able to solve things in multiple ways. I'll be able to, like, maybe figure out something new, um, but... If this is not marked on the map, that means I've never been here. <gasps> yes. Okay, new cave. Yo. Okay, like I, I can't make that jump, but it's fine. I can just avoid you. And more of you, but doesn't mean much because we could just use this bad boy. Go for it. Or not. You're really slow. Okay. Ah, uh, it's fine. I made all these energy drinks for a reason, right? Oh, and they don't even get consumed in the dream? That is too OP. That means you just make up the most OP combination and then you just go crazy and use it in the dream. That's insane. Unless I never... No, I'm pretty sure we did use a couple potions in the dream. Yeah. That's crazy. Okay. Then I... I'm not afraid to take on the next one, but it's fine. I I'm going to take a break from boss fighting. And hey, okay, that's what I was expecting earlier. Maybe, maybe there's a small chance there is something more going on here. So... Let's attempt to check uh, most used. No, let's not do not last learn. Let's just do type and hope we'll find what we're looking for. Okay, there we go. No? Huh? You really 
Really? These piles of sands are... They're not meant to be blown away? That's weird. Okay. So there's nothing else to do inside this cave. <laughs> you would think... Then what's the point of those mounds of sand, right? <laughs> Alright, whatever. Uh, not gonna question it. Just gonna move on. And be happy I got the reward I needed. You know, those cactuses were just so necessary for me. Um, okay. Anything over here that we have in gotten again before i enter a cave i should check if it's marked on the map because if it isn't that means it Ooh! yay that's uh, easily like like my mys like seashells if you just see him place rock like that or like koroks like koroks too for the new zelda fans right you know that it has to be something like that when you just see it perfectly placed um, okay, this should be easy to get, right? Just do this. There we go. Probably just some random crap, though. Okay. Never mind. Spoke too soon. It's rupees this time. <laughs> the game is literally keep... I mean, at least keep... Keep them guessing, right? <laughs> give me something trash. Then give me something pretty good. Then give me something trash again. So I never know. Don't make... Don't... Don't make it easy on me. Um... Okay, what is over here? Oh, the beach. I never came in from this area, though. It's so fitting that this would be where Link lives, though. I, I love that. Again, especially after Link's Awakening, it just makes sense. Okay, this stamp did I get? No! <gasps> Yay, we completed a new one. Okay, not bad. At least we got that done as well. Um, let's see what we get. All right, another card, and a bottle, oh, okay, sweet, we only had two bottles, so I was wondering how we'd get the remaining ones, at least we got another one, um, now, oh, Stamp Mom and Papa Stamp, the good old Stampy, I hope they're doing well, okay, so you have parents, because you look like someone who's parentless, uh, <laughs> Well, rolling down memory lane, you're a real pro by now, so you're ready for the next step. Okay, just, just give it to me, man. Let's go, Stamp Rally! <laughs> Let's do it. And we got ourselves... No cool drawing, really? This is an exhilarating stamp card? I don't believe so. But okay. Um, that's that. Uh... Anything else all the way down here? Probably not, right? Yeah, okay. Let's go back to Sothorn Village and just see if... Oops. If we can find something else we've missed. I didn't thoroughly explore this area. This is the first area we literally visited in the game, right? We literally escaped that cave. Oh, I'm already getting nostalgic. It's only been a few days. Like, literally just the weekend. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, I'm nostalgic. But I mean, I feel a lot has happened, of course, right? 20 hours of content. Um, 20 plus hours of content, right? This is the 21st episode. Um, which is crazy, yeah. I really do appreciate everyone who's watching right now. <laughs> like, yeah, thank you. Um, but okay, we, we don't re need to really re-explore this area. <gasps> no, we do! There is... Aha! Well, you look at that. That's something we probably couldn't have gotten that early on. But okay, another piece of heart. Um, well, we might as well double check, see if there's anything else here. I doubt it now, but just to make sure. Ooh, what is this, actually? Wait, oops, didn't mean to do that. Come on. Okay, it's fine. Wait, what? Do this, okay. Gotta remember to use that more often. What is up here? Can I move these rocks? No. Er, wait, let me make sure. No, yeah, I can't. Uh, hmm, I want to say we haven't thoroughly checked around the Eastern Palace outside of the actual dungeon. Um, maybe there's something I could find that I haven't? Yeah, we, well, so let's kind of investigate around it, not inside. Oh, and I don't know why. This is definitely not a secret, but... Let's just give it a shot. Yeah, no. That's not it. There are a lot more obvious. 
Um, but okay. Uh, is there anything I kind of passed by without really taking in? Uh, yes! Yes! Yay! Okay. We need to find enough to upgrade our bow. So I need to find two more. I have to find two more. So let's keep looking. Let's hope nearby. So now we're leaving the Eastern Palace. At least I found that. And I guess we're going to double check the, uh, not wetlands, but, I mean, these lands are wet, but no, the uh, Jabul waters. And see if there is any other secret I may be missing. What is this? Why does this look suspicious? Okay, no, no, it doesn't. Never mind. And we've been here before to deliver the meat. Let me quickly jump before he breaks it. Uh, I'm just gonna ignore this kid and also just see. Uh, you know, we're in Zora River. I don't know. There, there has to be something I missed out on. All right, I'm just trying to get rid of these tactites. They don't want to stop chasing me. Get away. Like, holy crap, are they persistent? Every single one is chasing me. Oh my god, they're still after me. How? Are, are you kidding me? Like, just give up already. <gasps> there we go! New, new enemy. Definitely new. They have, do not have the echo for this guy, so. Nice! I think there was only one in, um, in, uh, Jebel Waters or whatever, maybe. Um, but okay, let's check this part. I've, there has to be some kind of secret as well. This looks like it would be a door of sorts. If not, we'll climb it instead. But let me just make sure there's nothing off here. No. This just leads further. Well, let's say you can't go further. No, just an invisible wall. It's not like Breath of the Wild of the Kingdom where it sort of tells you you're at the edge of the world. But it is cool that you can reach the edge of the world uh, in this game as well. Uh, but I, I doubt it. Let's just... For fun. Literally just for fun. Okay. Now... For real, <laughs> let's uh, let's go up here. Oh, nothing either. Never mind. Okay. Oh, maybe small. I doubt it. These are just rocks. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Maybe this one. This one seems kind of well placed. No. Just getting my hopes up for nothing. Um. Okay. Let's check the water. I don't know. There has to be. <gasps> there we go. Okay, that, uh, that did look suspiciously placed, like, I had a feeling. Nice! Okay, now, just one more. We're, we're getting that. We have to get it. Okay, I'm sure somewhere in these corners we'll find something. Also, let me go ahead and take this off since we're not really in battle. And also use this to speed up the swimming. I completely forgot about that. That probably would have made escaping the Tektites a bit easier as well. <gasps> yes, there we go! There we go! This must be a secret, right? It looks like one. Oh, wait, no, 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 don't do that. Okay, wait. Uh, you know what, it's fine. Kill that one too, so you don't waste my time. And then place one here. And then, oh, there we go, it worked. Uh, all right, let's dive down. Piece of heart, hell yeah. Where are we at, another new heart one? You got four, we got another maximum heart container, nice. Okay, we're getting there. Maybe we will find all the pieces of heart. Now I'm assuming we got this, yeah, okay. You don't have to yell at me. Just checking, man. Just like making sure no one double- No double stamping! <laughs> I don't know why you can't double stamp. That's just- Don't waste the ink. It's for the other people who will never come there. <laughs> like, yeah, let me have a double stamp, man. I mean, I guess I'm cheating then. I would show him stamps that we, you know, have duplicates of. Though I do love stamps. Like, if anything, uh, you know- Flying out of country, go and visiting Hyrule. It's cool how they do stamp your passport. And oh, there we go, we got it! Yay! Okay, it was worth it. It was worth just spinning around. Oh, wait, really? I'm surrounded by monsters. Come on, save me! You got it. You got it. I don't even need anyone. I'm just gonna do my own sword technique. Yeah, come on. Oh yeah, y'all stand no chance. Okay, come on, hit this one. Zelda, hit this one. What are you doing? Okay, there we go. We did it. Give me something. Okay, wait. Oh, you want me to come up to you? Really now? <laughs> okay, it's fine. Luckily, I can make a water tower. There we go. All right. What do you say about that? 
I'm not tasty, I swear. Hmm, I wonder how Zoras would taste, actually. I mean, they're like fish people, so... Uh, whatever. <laughs> the monsters are gone. Oh, oh Zelda, they're so cute, the River Zora. I would love to see the River Zora in, um... What's it called? A 3D Zelda game as a friendly NPC. Now you gotta do it, Nintendo. Now you have to. You can't give us this and not do it again. So let's go inside. I've got something for you. Oh, in the little... In the little ship? Whoa, Hugh. Uh, thought I was done for with those monsters surrounding me. I actually watch over Boss Drad's house when he's off uh, being doing his boss stuff. Although, uh, even during that mess with Lord Jabu Jabu... But I want to be more than just a stuff watcher. I want to be one of the big shots. You can't be a big shot if you don't take big risks. So I went out to sea. But then this boat I borrowed got harmed by monsters and I went down pretty fast. But still, glad I got out on the big sea. Showed me I've got nothing to worry about, really. Oh. Well, now you got sharks willing to eat you up. So I don't know about that. So what if boss has me working on small jobs? I'll be big deal someday. Big as the sea. Oh, I forgot to thank you. Here. I was ho oh, no, I was hoping this is gonna lead to like some kind of he's like a Dompe character we could do. It's time to head back to the village. Hang on. So still Oh, okay, okay, there we go. So there is a reason to get inside here, not just for some oh. river horses. You couldn't find seahorses in the big sea? Oh, and he can't even <gasps> So we do have to help him out, or can we drive it, or what's going on? What's what's going on? Or is it just gonna Oh never mind. <sighs> Who we got here? Seaside village, safe and sound. I'm going to head home. Okay. <laughs> Nice. So, big shot side quest complete. Now, let me just quickly see if there's anything else I might be missing here. Ooh, this this cave doesn't exist on my map, so that means we haven't been here before. Let's check this out. Okay, avoid all this nonsense. We have to go down here for, I guess... <gasps> Wait, are those bi bigger hydro... No, they're not. <laughs> they're baby small. What am I saying? Because we do need to find a bigger hydrozole for that. Oh, there we go! There we go. All right. Huh? Huh? No. Then how do I make it into a thing? Maybe this wasn't a level two hydrozole. Whatever. Okay, let's move on. Or maybe you can't kill it underwater? I doubt it. Well, hopefully we find some here. Uh, can I lift these guys? No, I only can lift up mine. It's fine, though. We use these guys all the time. Light and... Oh, no, we gotta unlight them? Is that what we're supposed to do? Is Do we finally do that quest? Or, you know, let me just kill them so we can... Okay. Oh! Oh, no, I did lose HP. Okay, and that's mine. So I'm <laughs> attacking nothing. Okay, so let's try the Hydro ones. And I don't know why. Okay, whatever. That's gonna work. No! When you find the one and you accidentally do that. Okay. Maybe. Okay. I've been. Wa we've tried this before and we've looked stupid doing it, but this time maybe. Yay! The reverse torch side, like, the puzzle. Yeah, that, that's the word I'm looking for. And nice! Easy. Another piece of heart. Okay. Let's go ahead and exit. And then before I make my way back to Blueberry, I Burry, whatever, uh, I need to make sure there's nothing around this vicinity. There might be maybe one more thing. Let's see. Let's check up here, actually. And, okay. Don't want to deal with the Zol. Die. Not in the mood for that right now. <laughs> Let's see what's up here. Uh, any secrets? Any secrets? Where is this taking me? Just kind of back to the eastern palace. This is so useful, by the way. This is so, so useful. Okay. Uh, fair on wetlands, maybe? There's something on these tree top tops. <laughs> what is wrong with me? Tree tops that I probably missed out on, maybe? Sort of? Not seeing anything, at least up here. And again, the Zelda monkey noises are so fitting. Oop. Let me feel like I'm in the Jorah's mask. Uh, but nah, it doesn't look like it. Okay, whatever. <gasps> Wait! What about you? Are you a level two? Like, let me take you out of the water. Let me kill you. No, huh? All right, that's tar again. Probably someone screaming at my at their screen, trying to tell me what to do. 
Um, and I'm just too stupid to figure out. I mean, like, where would I get that hydrozole level two? I mean, because the kid said it was, unless you can find him, unless I have to carry one all the way to him and you can't summon it, that could be it as well. But that seems like a really long way back. Um, I could try that. Okay, well, either way, let's, um, the bow. Yeah, yeah, I forgot. The bow is so important because... Especially with flying enemies. I need to kill them faster. So yes, finally we're gonna have the maxed out version of the bow. Hell yeah. Nice. It's looking it's looking pretty good. Alright. Uh what do you want me to hands? We're, we're good for now. It's not like I can do anything. Okay, so I was gonna end things off here, but I kinda want to. I don't, this nah, it's not gonna work. I don't even think I can find a pathway. This, that's gonna be too much. Um, Goron City. You know what? It's fine. I think we'll. Yeah, we're probably will end things off here. Uh, definitely let me know what you'd like to see me do, and if you'd want this series or the bonus episodes to continue, um, leave a like on the video, show your support, and maybe we will beat this whole game blind. Actually, well, we already beat the game. Rather, hundred percent this game completely blind together hopefully i can manage to do that but already there's a lot i'm gonna have to cut out from this episode because i've been just running in circles trying to find things so this might be if anything a shorter episode even though i've spent way more time recording this episode than any other episode uh but yeah i think i'm gonna end things off here for this first bonus episode we might be back for another one as i continue to try to 100 percent the game because uh, yeah, even though we're done with the game, I still want to see how far I can go. Uh, I guess, wait, before we end things off, let's see if we get lucky. I did make sure in between episodes to change the time of day on my Switch again, so I could see if maybe, now that I've beaten the game, the game will offer me something special. Okay, so far, nothing. Come on, come on, and we do need to look for more outfits in general. Okay, sadly, no luck, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like, and uh, yeah, I'll see you guys, hopefully, real soon. Bye.